Good morning, and welcome to Dr. K's Thoughts for the Day. Now, you might have heard me mention before that I'm diabetic. I haven't always been diabetic. But in 1998, I moved from Oklahoma to Alabama. And in Alabama, type 2 diabetes is a uh, prerequisite for citizenship, actually. Yeah, any state where they fry turkey legs and green beans, it's pretty much mandatory. That and you have to learn the language. You have to know when to use the silent L's and the silent R's. Address everyone's first name like it's their last name. And pretend they're hearing impaired. May I help you with those poke chops, Mr. John? Excuse me, I gotta go change the light, bub. But you take care of yourself now we're in the Gulf Coast, you hear? Feel sorry for um, women with calendar names. Because if you say, hi to Miss April, sounds like she was in Playboy or something. So when I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, I had to take diabetes education class. First off, I had to meet with a diabetes education counselor, whose name was Cookie. Yeah, I know, it's, I see the irony in that. But, uh, and she had to do this test, you know, diabetes can go to the feet. So I had to do this foot test. I had to close my eyes, and she had to poke my feet with a fishing wire, and I was supposed to tell her which part of the foot that I was poking that uh, she was poking therefore she would know I had full feeling in my feet you know it's like okay arch heel top of the foot piggy that stayed home piggy that went to market piggy that went wee 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 all the way home well she didn't laugh at that either but, you know, that just shows you how scary diabetes is. It affects the vision, it can affect the feet, the kidneys, the pancreas, the heart. And if that's not bad enough, I was watching TV one night and a Cialis ad came on. Yeah, a man came on and said that diabetes contributed to his ED. Now let me tell you something, folks. I've lived in Alabama for 10 years, and believe you me, if diabetes contributes to erectile dysfunction, the South is not going to rise again. I felt bad for that guy on TV. I hope the Cialis works for him. Can you imagine waking up in the morning and knowing that that Lancet that you stick your finger with to test your blood sugar is the only prick you can still use? Oh, that's a scary thought. That's the last of my thoughts for the day. Thank you for watching.